Hello all, uh, welcome to the insights on the British Chamber of Commerce Young Professionals Working Group. My name is Russell Watts from Move Ahead Media and I'm on the committee for the YP event. So on my left here we have Amy, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Russell. Um, Sawadee My name is Pinya Pa Sompong. All many of you know me as Amy. I'm the managing partner of TWLS Law Group and also the vice chair of BCCT and obviously a part of the YP committee member as well. Okay, and lastly, we have Kun Boat. Thank you, Sawadee Kha. My name is Boat. I'm the vice president and in the corporate and global investment banking at Bank of America. And I'm also on the board of director for the British Chamber of Commerce and also part of the YP working group. Okay, so I mean, a lot of people are tuning in just to find out um, how the YP group has kind of developed them into the British Chamber and make them more comfortable for the young professionals for networking. So for me, as someone who has just joined, I've seen a lot of progress in the, in the sense that the YP has been working really hard to make the events a safe space where you know, the YP can come together, share their struggles, connect with their peers and connect with the seniors from different industries and learn and there's nothing to fear. There's nothing that they need to uh, to be afraid of in terms of repercussion, because you know, there's there's no there's no mention from their company or HR to to um, to reprimand them if they say something that might not align with their policy. But so it's a space where they can fully be, bring their whole selves to, and share their struggles and learn from those who have walked the path before. Mm. Yeah, I mean for for me, um, I I joined in 2015, and back then there wasn't a YP group. Um, and in my position, I was my job was to hunt for business, make those connections, and it was really hard because it was a big circle of your senior management and directors. And for me, being very new to networking as a whole, mm -hmm. and just in this daunting space where it was really hard to break the mold. Um, but since the formation of the YP group, uh, there's been a, a whole dynamic shift just is, in the YP, yeah. YP as well as the British team as a whole. Yeah. Um, so that's actually uh, made it more comfortable for me moving on. Yeah. And you've been here for nearly the same time <laughs> as me. Yes, yeah, so I was. I was. Which is still like very few years, not that long ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think like the um, as you both say, like um, we've been really, really trying to create more like the comfortable um, atmosphere for for the YP who is very new for the networking, who is very new to step up of the um, the, the comfort zone or even who is very new to um, going out from the daily routine working desk. So we just try to create something that is a bit more dynamic, more yeah. easy on going and also like help them to, to boost up the confidence to be able to, you know, like break down the barrier between the, the junior or senior. So more like prep them to be ready for like the other um, events to yeah. join. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely helped me as well, like yes. I said. Oh, I will say it helps <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm um, talking about these, so maybe um, Bert, you can share a little bit what will be like the upcoming exciting yep. events that you definitely. wanted to share. So the next one is going to be on Tuesday, July 18 at the St. Regis Hotel where we're going to invite senior managers of large companies to come give advice on how they got to where they are today, the mentors that they had at the onset of their career, and what advice would they give in this current world, you know, where it's so volatile with rapid, you know, shifting market, mm -hmm. and what advice would they give for young professionals to be successful in this era. And then after that, in August, we will have the first networking event with Amsham at Topgolf. Right. Uh, it's right. going to be on Friday before the long uh, Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be looking to both. Sounds interesting. Yeah. yeah. I so, mean, it kind of goes online with what we've done in the past. So just recently, we've done um, the public speaking, mm -hmm. um, which is really fun and engaging. Yeah. And also in many other events in the past, it has right, been yeah. um, kind of workshop related, um, yeah. soft skill development. Yes, particularly Again, like the leadership skills, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And that one was nice. Yeah, more public speaking and just you know gaining confidence when you're um, networking public speaking, yep. uh, in meetings, and it does trickle down to, you know, into your career, even when you're talking to your boss. Yes, it is, yeah. like career path development. Exactly, uh, yeah. yeah. Awesome, that was great. So um, apart from that, I think like um, we just perhaps want to encourage and also like they wanted to to um, convey the message of for the young professional to making the most out of the BCCT, like perhaps outside of attending these great events and workshop, what would be like the, um, the advice that you both wanted to, to share or to convey? 
um, I'll, I'll take a quote from Steve Jobs that said, "Life is about connecting the dots, right?" Mm -hmm. And I, I believe you know young professionals should leverage these events and try to take that approach, connect the dots, come to as many events as possible. Mm -hmm. And you'll find something you like, you connect with a mentor that you that you like, and then yeah. you can take that forward. So it, it, it doesn't end when the, when, the, when the curtain is drawn, it doesn't end when the event is over, yeah. but it's a starting point, and then you can draw the dot from that yeah. onward. Right. Yeah, and um, for me, like um, I said, again, attending networks regularly is a key point because practice makes progress. Yep. You know, um, the more times you go, the more opportunities that you're always going to face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, people do have this mindset where you go once or twice, and that's and, it. And yeah. you think, oh, that's it, or it's the same, it's the same. It's not yeah. always the case, especially when you've got new locations, new settings, mm -hmm. um, and new speakers. And new yeah. speakers, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So there's always new new opportunities and events, mm -hmm. and different people going each time. Yeah. That's so with true. that, you're always yeah. going to be taking something away. If it's not just networking opportunity, it is knowledge. Yeah, I think it's very important. Like consistency is the way that you will be able to achieve something. And in terms of the um, going out for networking, it's not just only you know just networking and for fun or great vibes. I think like you also learn every time you learn something new when yeah. when you talk to the different people as well. And I think it's also since we play with the with the wording of the comfort zone just since yeah. the beginning, yeah. right? And I was also feeling like you should push yourself out of your comfort zone, of your boundary. Mm -hmm. Don't limit your capability or mm -hmm. consider yourself as a young professional. Think big and do big as well. Try something else, um, attend a different event, can be the senior one, can be the, um, the different working groups, legal and tax committee, learn something new. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're gonna grab something out of it for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what kind of advice would you give people trying to grow their connections and maybe develop their careers? For me, I would recommend to take an active approach. You're in the driver's seat of your career. I mean, you're going to be the one that will be working for the next 40 years. So have a purpose. Don't just come to events blindsided. Come to an event with small goals like, OK, I'm going to meet two new people today. I'm going to learn about this topic. I'm going to talk with this speaker. Right? Come with a purpose and bring something, take something back from the event. Yeah. and take an FT approach in a way that you know that you know, down the road, five years from now, what you're going to learn and then take that back to the events and then find out what events would you like to attend because the BCCT offers so many events and subspecialties that you can pick from mm -hmm. like on a weekly, daily basis and I'm sure you cannot like, attend them all so be, be yeah. purposeful yeah. and choose what aligns best with, with your career goal. Right. Well, for me, I would say like come with a purpose and be an empty glass. From, from my point of view, because as I mentioned it before, um, you meet a different people, different attitudes, diff different age range, and also different careers. So um, just come as, a, as an empty glass and, you know, be every time that you talk to someone, just being yourself, because people will, rec um, will recognize you by your character, by your personality, perhaps a little bit of the way how, how you look at, but um, in the end of the day, people will keep continuing growing the connection with you yes. based on, the connection that they felt with you at that time when you were talking with them. So um, I would recommend just be be authentic, be you, be bold, and um, keep learning. Keep, yeah. uh, keep the um, finding something new. Every I mean, day. apart what you're saying about uh, being yourself and being authentic, that kind yeah. of comes on to what I was going to be saying is um, self branding. So yep. it's all good you're coming there representing a company, yep. but ultimately people are buying into you. Yep. So self branding is key and also um, the activity so again that's regularly attending be recognized be visible yeah be active and um that builds credibility yeah and therefore connections will grow opportunities will grow and right. career paths will develop yeah. that sounds yeah. very thumbs up <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah, yeah right so yeah i think um it has been a very interesting conversation with you guys today so yeah. I mean, so, so I've just got one more question here. So yeah. lot, some people have asked what our, um, I guess, forecast for the year is or what we're looking to aim towards from the YP group. Mm -hmm. um, any thoughts on what, what we're actually looking to implement for the people that attend our events? Um, I will say that we perhaps going to keep continuing to to help the YP in terms of the um, the career path development and also like um, enhance the the soft skills to be prepared for what's coming from the AI as well. And um, maybe you can just yeah. add. The maybe we'll do some unconventional approach. So you know we had a 
a last event right on the public speaking and yes. one of the speakers had a very unique talent <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, he so we good. are thinking about inviting him back for an event at the end of the year to talk about a subject that has never been yeah. talked mm. as often before so um, keep an eye out for that I'll, I'll need concurrence from the board first <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well i'm sure everyone will be happy <laughs> I mean, for us, like we, we do get together every quarter and brainstorm ideas on yep. what we're doing for events. Um, but feedback would be greatly appreciated on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. And obviously that means we can make the event suited for the guys watching there. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's um, anything else from you guys? Well, I think perhaps uh, the last part that I just wanted to highlight about the young professional group is that our event is not only for the young people. Mm -hmm. We are very much open for different age range and different for for everyone. Basically, I don't want the people to think like, oh, it's a YP, so it's supposed yes. to be only the young people attending. Ideally, we wanted to be more like the um, the place or the venue that can connect the junior together with the senior and break down that barrier so the young could understand the senior and the senior could understand what the what the junior is thinking as yeah. well just you know like we we tend to create the um these place for more like you know like the um diversity and inclus inclus inclusivity as well yeah, yeah. okay so it's like a reverse reverse mentoring yeah the correct yeah. yeah yeah Okay, great. Thanks very much, guys, for tuning in. Um, we're the Young Professionals Working Group, and um, yeah, we welcome all feedback and see you next time. I'll see you soon.